Hey, what's going on, Nines? This is Jason Mall. I just want to say thank you for letting me be a part of this online conference. It's kind of revolutionary, and uh, it's definitely great to be able to share a little bit of things in my heart that I've learned that it's been a game changer in my life, specifically in regards to the church and my mindset towards understanding the kingdom of God. I would just definitely say that if there was a few game changers of how I experience God and what it means to be a follower of Christ in our culture, in our day, is that number one, it's not about just going to church, it's about being the church. Uh, I truly believe that Jesus did not die for us just to go to church or come to a church, but he called us to go into the world, to not be of the world, but to go into the world and be salt and light and affect it. And so I really begin to change my mindset and understanding of church when I realized what Jesus said in Matthew, that where two or three gather, there he is with them. So in other words, when one, two, or three people gather in the name of Jesus Christ, together, willing and ready to obey his commands, that is church. And right then and there, at that moment, those two or three have the power to bring the kingdom of God into the kingdoms of the earth. And so I wanna encourage those of you that are watching or listening to this, that it's not just about going to a church within the four walls and just doing ministry or seeing miracles or seeing things happen in the church, but we are the church. And wherever we go, we bring the kingdom of God with us. And so that means we heal the sick, raise the dead, prophesy, deliver the oppressed, we preach the good news, and we go out and be salt and light, and we are the church to the world. And so whatever you do, whether you're in government, business, education, media, arts, family, society, health, social concern, technology, medicine, whatever it might be, recognize that God's given you a platform for a purpose. So utilize where you are and recognize that the passion that God's given you is not secondary, that you don't have to be a pastor vocationally or a missionary vocationally in order to be a missionary, in order to be a minister. So that was, I would say that's my number two thing, is that as a game changer, everyone's a minister. Everyone's called preach the gospel. Every single person is called to make disciples. Everyone's called to influence and change culture, to make the kingdoms of men, the kingdoms of heaven on the earth. That Jesus didn't die for us to really go to heaven. He prayed. This is how we should pray. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So in other words, our goal is not to get to heaven. Our goal is to get heaven into the earth. How do we do that? By our good works. Matthew chapter 5, that by our good works, they will see our good works and give praise to our Father in heaven. What are those good works looking like? Look like? It means looking like Jesus, being like Jesus, acting like Jesus, talking like Jesus, living like Jesus, moving in the supernatural just like Jesus. That the world goes, who are you? Why do you do what you do? And how do you do what you do? And we tell them it's only by the power of the Spirit, it's by the power of God, it's by a relationship with the Almighty Creator. And thirdly, a game changer, intimacy with Christ. Prayer is everything. Without prayer, you can't do anything. With prayer, you can do anything. And that is the power of the Holy Spirit that we cannot anymore neglect in our culture in our day. Whatever denomination, whatever box, or whatever doctrine that we learn, we got to realize we can't put God in a box. The God of the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament, is the same God today as he was the God of the book of Acts. And we have to live a life of prayer. It's not just living a life and a ministry and a theology and a philosophy of ministry that's through our mind and it's just about reaching culture. I'm telling you right now that we need the power of the Holy Spirit more than ever before right now in North America. I travel the globe. I've been literally every month in a different country, whether that's Africa, whether that's South America, whether that's Asia, and I see the power of the Holy Spirit moving in signs and wonders and miracles, just like I read in the book of Acts, and it's happening out there, and the church is exploding. I mean, everything you read about is happening today. Why is it not happening here in North America? I truly believe it's because of our belief system. If we believe it can't happen, it won't happen. Jesus could not do miracles in his own hometown because the people did not believe and they didn't have faith. How much more so in our generation, if we try to put God in a box, can God not move according to our faith? But if we have faith, great faith, that the same God yesterday is the same God today. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, when I go up, you will do even greater things than I will do. Must we believe that God can and will do 
even more than what he's done before in our generation, I believe it can happen. So I just want to encourage every single one of you, don't just go to church, be the church. Recognize that every single one of us are missionaries. Every single one of us are ministers. Whatever domain of society that you're called to serve in, recognize that you're called to be salt and light and to influence it and transform it from the kingdoms of men into the kingdoms of our God. And lastly, live a life of prayer. Depend upon the Holy Spirit. Believe and have faith that the same God yesterday is the same God today and we can make a difference in this world and transform our generation for the glory of Jesus Christ. Peace out. Thank you very much, Nines. Appreciate the shout out and have me be a part of this revolutionary conference online. And my name is Jason Ma, Los Angeles, California. Lakers, go baby. Peace.